Hello, everybody out there in this crazy world, but beautiful world, and at times ugly, yes. But hello, Bill here. Sure, you know me. If you don't, you will. Right now. Because we are live. And uh, I think we're live. I think so, yeah. Okay, it's, you know, tell me something here, but oh well. We'll see if we can keep on rolling with this. So, how y'all doing? Bill here, Beer Hound, trying something new. Um, you know, you know how life is. You, you always cut it. You always have to be evolving. You have. You can't just be like a rock in a river, and sit there and let life uh, just flow by you, and then you're not getting anywhere. You know what I mean? So we're trying something new. Practicing what I preach. Uh, we're gonna do a live. Um, beer review right here on Facebook yeah even though nobody's watching but that's all good because I'm just gonna take this video and transfer it to YouTube yes that's what I'm gonna do I'm just trying new ways of doing things here because uh, I've never actually done a live video on YouTube I mean Facebook duh so uh, we got one here from Firestone Walker it's called Cali Squeeze. It's a blood orange ale. I've never had it before. I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. But uh, I'm fitting to crack it open and handle this shiz. So um, this is a big bomber. 19.2 fluid ounces. This puppy comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. And um, uh, we're just going to handle this, okay? They're from Paso Robles, California. That's what the can looks like. Okay. All right. So, let's do this. It's my day off today. And uh, I thought I'd take a little time here and Try something new and do a live beer review on Facebook. So we'll see how this goes. I keep getting this thing here. Um, currently, my computer is a little low on something. So uh, that's probably uh, the quality thing it's talking about. But, oh well, right? It is what it is. And that's all that it is, okay? Um, all right, let's see here. Um, Oh, let's see. I was hoping it had the little thing where I can like um, do little, you know, things, stunts with it. Um, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. What's this? It's all new to me, man. You know? It's all new. Holes? Why is this thing doing this? We're going to have to check that out. Um... Oh, I see. Huh. Huh. All right. So, well, I'm stalling, but, um, yeah. All right. We're still live. Yeah, we are. It's going. So, um, let's get some more in here. And, um, okay. We have a um, really pretty tight head. It's real frothy, creamy, silky. It's, uh, it's really nice. Got some pretty good dips going there but it's not foamy at all it's very nice looking so I wish this thing would freaking stop popping up all right anyways uh, let's check out the colors like a pretty uh, hazy looking beer here kind of like a m real murky looking like orange color it is a blood orange beer as a style like apparently that's what it looks like 
very murky kind of you know, like orangey dark dirty amber some of you I've never met in person so like this is the next step to that right hi how y'all doing how you doing you got to see what I'm like actually in video look at that it all wouldn't fit in my awesome glass Firestone Walker look at that beer she's a bit okay by Firestone Walker Cali squeeze oh yeah and it does say uh, squeezed in California <laughs> all right I can smell it from here this is only a five percenter so um, I'm not expecting a whole lot because it is kind of light it's kind of a light beer so uh, let's check out the aroma I'm definitely getting big orange notes big orange notes um, it smells almost like orange crush uh, soft drink actually it smells like orange crush basically yeah that's pretty much what it smells like let's get a hit cheers All right. Taste follows the aroma. Orange. Like orange crushed soda. Just a little, not quite as fizzy. You can tell it's only 5%. It's got a medium light, kind of medium mouthfeel actually. Um, could use a little more malt backbone that would be a higher alcohol content that would give it more of a mouth feel because it's really kind of easy to drink like watery almost um, yeah it's, it's a little thin I guess so yeah medium the mouth feels not like light it's just the flavor is kind of thin last lawnmower home anyways uh yeah so it's decent I paid like four bucks for this thing 19.2 ouncer so you get this kind of orange flavor you're not really getting a whole lot else maybe a little grapefruit he was waiting for me to do this video to start lawn mowing of course it's hard to tell it's beer actually I'll tell you right now I'm probably gonna slam this thing in probably like less than five minutes here after the video and get on to a real beer because this one here would be a good entry-level beer for a beginner if you want to get into some craft beer this would be a good candidate okay uh, for a heavy hitter like moi, probably not going to cut it. They're going to need to squeeze a little more out of them oranges to get make this guy happy. You know what I mean? So I'm going to swill it one more time. We'll wrap this puppy up. If you're thirsty and it's a hot day and you want to quench your thirst and have a pretty tasty beverage, this will do the trick. Cali Squeeze by Firestone Walker, okay? And you're not going to get too hammered. It's only 5%, so you can drink probably 20 of those and be just fine. Cheers. Yeah, orange, kind of little grapefruit. That's about it. I mean... It's a it's a beverage. It's a it's a alcoholic beverage that's not that heavy and it would be good to drink on a hot day or if you're like gonna do some session sessioning multiple beers like you know hanging out with your friends, this might be a good candidate for that too if you want something that's got a little more flavor than like Bud Miller or Coors or Modelo, Ticati and Superior, you know, all those beers. Ribbit. Excuse me. So with that said Ribbit. Excuse me, sorry. Um, yeah Facebook obviously is totally dead right now or 
just nobody cares to watch me live. Probably that. One more. It's getting better as I go. Okay, I'll tell you that. It's getting better as I go. So with that said, it is leaving some de it's leaving some decent lacing on the glass there. So it's a decent beer. I mean, Firestone Walker from Paso Robles, California. They don't make any bad beers. But they are, like, more in lines, in my opinion, they're more in lines with the kind of a budget craft beer, you know what I mean? Like, they do make some top shelf phenomenal world class beers, but most of their beers are kind of like a budget craft. So this would be definitely in the budget craft category. But a very tasty beer, actually. Um, it's growing on me as I go, for sure. And I kind of do like the fact that it is like only one in the afternoon and you know I don't want to get hammered this early in the day so that's kind of the nice nice thing about this beer too you can drink this whole tall boy and pretty much barely have a buzz so with that said on a scale of one to five stars two and a half B and C average um, I think this is a solid 3.9 it's pretty tasty for a lighter ABV beer yeah so 3.9 it is that's my story i'll stick with that thank you for not stopping by check me out maybe on youtube instead and uh, i'll have that this video converted and posted over there to beer hounds beer reviews on youtube okay have a great day last train home and don't do nothing i wouldn't do that leaves you open for everything we'll catch y'all later cheers but first one more drink mm. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the little bell for my notifications of new videos coming out. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheers.